Hello, welcome back to Banner Sushi Live Nodding. Since we have the convenience of the 3D matrix array nodes, which is uh, it's called the vector P field. So, okay, since we have this, we can probably take advantage of the the Voronoi together with this guy, the um, 3D Voronoi. So, I'm gonna give that a try. So script it not light and get the Voronoi template and so we have this grid and we have this guy. Let's try this guy on the just normal box. Kind of curious what's gonna happen if I simply mix the two. So a box is simply a box and but this guy is the pack uh, vector P field. Um, let's try to visualize it real quick. So the points looks like that. So if we mix the points with the box, I believe we're gonna get a quite interesting result real real quick. So these points can go in here, Voronoi 3D, and then this is the box, kind of like uh, the boundings. As a result, we should get Voronoi. Yeah, so that's a uh, very quickly we can get a uh, this kind of uh, Voronoi design. It's actually not not really like a design, but this is like a Voronoi fracture, and I don't know. I think this is like a, a very 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 cool. Um, you can try the randomization, for example, and you quickly get this kind of design. You can apparently have a points that's a little bit outside of the box. And still, this is like giving you something that's quite nice really quickly. Um, let's see what else we can do with this. Maybe we can kind of vectorize it as well. I, I have not tried, but if I save this file, save as this is a what is this? P vector P Voronoi. So this is our object. This is our points. Um, perhaps we can just use the matrix in. Plug this guy there, and this is gonna be. Let's try using line. Plug this make a bunch of this maybe make five for noi and maybe we can randomize the seed range integer make it a five and plug this into the seed oh actually the seed doesn't have anything to plug into so yeah forget it about Forget about that. Uh, maybe we can do it differently. Maybe just simply using a monad or something. But I think this is still a pretty cool way to get Voronoi. And I'm only using it on the on the cube. Uh, we can add resolutions and etc. We can increase the size. We can increase the number of points. We can quickly get this kind of design. And um, of course. If you think about it, um, we can actually separate this guy. Um, so let's say make it like three by three by three. So we have twenty-seven different parts, four noise parts, or maybe even less. But anyhow, let's try. Let's see if we want to scale it, or maybe like uh, to have control over the position of each four noise objects. Maybe we can. We can. We can do that. Um, let's see, make this smaller. So I think you're gonna get like a, a really good fracture if the points is actually inside the bounding box, not not outside. Let me double check. So that's inside. Okay, that's more manageable. That's two by two, so we have eight fracture. 
we can always separate each one of these fractures and maybe control the scaling or the position of this guy so if you plug in like a matrix in into this guy and then kind of use a plain grid to arrange it so you're gonna get like um, this guy being arranged inside the grid but I think the P4 is slightly wrong so maybe we shouldn't do it this way um, if I'm not wrong scale and move can actually move this guy um, so we can use the shrink to kind of animate the fracture but I kind of want to uh, get the center p4 for each fracture and kind of control it myself sort of like um, we fracture an object and then kind of give it like a center p4 for each fracture and then control it uh, kind of like a particles in a way mm, so I think the scale we can control the scale this way simply by using the bounding box if I'm not wrong this guy goes in there the means gonna be the center this is the vertices so we are controlling eight different fracture objects and so we can scale it so that's a uh, that's one thing um, we don't need to randomize the matrix so let's say if we have like a uh, this kind of setup and we want to shrink it one by one remember that this is uh, you can easily um, change the box into any 3d objects and it's gonna work right away let's say you want to animate kind of like the growing of these objects maybe we should do that actually in the next live noting maybe I'll use move for this one I, I, I just gonna scale it so let's say we have frame and then this frame we want to control the growth um, you can also use the is in function easing functions so current frame for example and give it like 100 this one 0 and 1 and it goes to the factor so we should have these animations between 0 and 100 we have the growth animations and if you wanna kind of offset it you can use um, math and kind of offset it you've, you've seen me doing this in the previous live noting so add so this one range float start stop count how many we have eight different objects and then we can randomize the this guy so plug that in so we have like a kind of offset between each and every object okay actually it doesn't work yet okay I think we need to split it up so list split and now we should have this kind of offset for each one of them so I think that's how you do it you see this is a range float and a range float we have give it 8 count and this is gonna be between minus 100 and 0 and we have this value if you split it up you're gonna get this kind of uh, different kind of list and if you plug this in into this guy suddenly we have 8 different data that we can plug into this guy and then it's gonna control every fracture so it's slightly it's just slightly a little bit uh, something that's not easy to understand but once you get used to it this is becoming super easy so you get that kind of effects um, I'm gonna save this real quick so this number 8 is uh, the, 
dependent on the number of fracture and the number of fracture is dependent on the number of points so this is uh, everything is procedural here so list length and get the total number of the points so it's giving us 8 and this we can plug into this guy so now so okay let me summarize everything so we start with the box this box can be of any shape of the box you can scale it whatever and then we are using the Voronoi 3D and for Voronoi 3D we need some kind of random points within the boundary of the, the box and currently we have only 8 points that's why we have 8 fracture and we have this kind of animation now if you kind of increase the number of uh, Voronoi fracture you have more fractured objects but the whole setup still works so this is a uh, very interesting kind of um, like a classic example of procedural fracture and then growth growth so yeah so you have this design if you like it and maybe you don't maybe you want to randomize this fracture slightly just randomize the seed maybe remove some so this is slight variations so you have this you can further randomize and then you test it out see this is like super simple in the end but super cool effect as well it's a classic effect and it's pretty fast you can bake it out um, currently it's just like a preview um, and we have only six objects here you can always increase it more and you still have the animations okay remember this is like uh, currently we have 17 objects if you bake it you're gonna get 17 different objects you can give it different color if you like um, but in order to make it like a real object you use the viewer vmesh and you plug that in and also you plug this guy in there and you have real objects that you can render um, maybe for one more example I'm gonna give it different color just for the sake of a complete example so I give it a material and I turn on object color and we know that once we've done that to all of this fracture we can give it a different color for each object pretty easily and set id which is set attribute for each and of these objects oh actually yeah this one actually gonna crash my mac os unfortunately so anyway this is how you do it you plug these objects in and give it a color attributes and then randomize the color that way um, anyhow that's pretty much it for this live learning let me know what you think if you have any question let me know and i'll see you in the next video